Welcome everyone to Beer, Bourbon, and Games. I am glad you found the channel. I am your host, Chris. Today on the channel, we are going to look at a beer from Southern Tier Brewing Company. It is fall. It's that time of the season where the leaves are coming down. The weather is getting colder. Flannel is coming out. So we are going to enjoy a pumpkin beer. Everyone and their mother seems to have a pumpkin beer out this time of the year. There's pumpkin spice latte, there's pumpkin spice everything this time of the year. So we are going to go ahead and try one of my favorite beers for the season, but it's a little different this time. They have added to the line a nitro version. Nitros typically make things a lot smoother, creamier. You have a really nice velvety texture. So we're going to see how them adding nitro either enhances or detracts from the beer itself. We are going to take a look at Pumpkin, the Nitro Edition. Now, this is seasonal. It's only going to come out this time of the year. We have some really nice can art. I really like the orange color of the can and the pumpkin there with his little crown on. Very appealing, very well done for the label. I think it's a very, very nice one. They also make uh, Warlock, which is another one of my favorites for this time. So in my opinion, one of the best beer companies for their seasonal releases. Southern Tier makes some really awesome stuff. So this is an Imperial Pumpkin Ale. On the can, it says that this is an 8.6% ABV and it's a 13.6 ounce can. Now I'm wondering if we're actually gonna get that full amount I know the other nitro that I reviewed, you didn't get that all because there was some nitro technology in there, so it actually kind of cut off how much you got. I don't know if we're going to get that on this one as well. Probably will, because I don't know how else they're going to do that nitro in a can. This is brewed and canned by Southern Tier, and it looks like it's in Lakewood, New York. So it is the state above me. The Empire State. Other than that, we don't really have much to go with. Just that really cool orange look, that evil looking pumpkin, and the pumpkin name that we all know and love. So we're going to open it up. We're going to give it a smell. We're going to see how it tastes and see how we like the nitro version. And I'm going to assume when we open this, we're going to get a loud pop like we did with the other nitro. Oh, I can hear the gases wasn't quite the same as the other one but i did feel that uh, air bubble coming out we're gonna go ahead and pour it into our can i can already see from the consistency that it's pouring that you can tell it is a nitro version very very creamy very frothy it reminds me of a guinness it looks kind of milkshakey very very nice overall we've got uh, because of the nitro they are known for pouring very heady and then they quickly will change themselves over every single nitro does this when they do it on tap recently I had the verklempt from the st. Boniface it's a nitro does the exact same thing you get a lot of residual pour that you end up pouring out but overall we do have that really, really nice creamy consistency for that head. It is frothy. It is very, very creamy looking. It almost looks like pancake batter. It's a weird, weird description, but that's exactly what it looks like to me. You can tell right from the head that it is very, very nice and creamy. It is rising up. It was the whole way at the bottom, but we have already gone the whole way up almost to the top. So let's go ahead and give it a smell and see what we think. You can definitely tell this is the pumpkin that I know and love. You've got the clove, the nutmeg, those baking spices, and it smells like pumpkin in a glass. You've got that. It smells almost like when you open up a canned pumpkin or you're smelling a pumpkin pie. Yes, I smell pumpkin pie. Um, it does smell like that. And then with, with the nitro froth on top, it actually kind of reminds me of the smell of whipped cream so kind of smells like pumpkin pie with whipped cream on top so this should be very very enjoyable i think it should 
be almost like a dessert in a glass. So before we drink it, if you're new to the channel, think about hitting that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite pumpkin beer is or pumpkin anything. Pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin spice brake pads. I don't care. They seem to have everything nowadays. Just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and hit that subscribe button. I also have a Patreon as well if you ever want to give back to the channel. Now with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and give this a taste and see what we think. I have a pumpkin mustache. It is definitely extremely creamy. Ex oh, it is exquisitely smooth. It is absolutely beyond smooth. Reminds me almost of the, the velvety texture of a Guinness on draft. Very clean, very, very smooth. It's almost pillowy. Uh, I think I like this better than the actual normal version. It's got the pumpkin up front. There's no bitterness. There is pumpkin flavor. And then on the back end, it's hitting you with a really nice, sweet flavor rolled out with some nutmeg and clove. A little bit of cinnamon balancing that all out. It honestly tastes like a liquid pumpkin pie in a glass. This is absolutely fantastic even if you're burned out on pumpkin stuff by this time I would say if you can get this I highly recommend giving it a try it's a very unique it gives something a little new to that pumpkin uh, drink that everyone seems to have nowadays I can only have so many pumpkin beers and the nitro kind of brings this a little bit above those other ones for me so like normal i will go ahead and rate this on the untapped scale you can go ahead and follow me on untapped it is beer bourbon and games i will follow you back you can go ahead and see what i'm drinking where i'm drinking it at and what i am up to that is always fun to see what you guys have had and what i'm drinking i like to kind of balance things out and that's how i learn about new beers that i may have never heard of before so definitely follow me on there but if we're going to rank this on our untapped scale I'm going to give this a, I'm going to do a 4.25. It's uh, not quite four and a half, but it is very, very good, very sweet, very well balanced, very well crafted. I definitely like this better than the non-nitro version, which I would rate probably a four or 3.75, kind of somewhere around there, that 3.8-ish range. This just is elevated a lot by that nitro. So if you're on the fence and you're not quite sure if you want to try it, but you know, you want to maybe give it another go, you want to have one more pumpkin beer before the season's over, I would say search out for this nitro version of Pumpkin. It is absolutely fantastic. Southern Tier is great at these little seasonal releases. Some of the other stuff like the s'mores that I recently released. I know they have a milkshake one that I have downstairs. And they have some other really, really good stuff. But I really enjoy their seasonals the most. I'm not going to lie. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you've had it and you're not quite burned out on pumpkin yet. Till next time, guys. This beer's not going to drink itself. I'm going to have to help it. <sighs> Cheers, my friends.